in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make these vegan chocolate chunk mint cookies um, the recipe I show you is actually not vegan <laughs> because I'm using Andy's mint chunks um, that's because this recipe I'm making it for my boyfriend's birthday which is today and he loves Andy's mints it's like his favorite candy um, and I found these like basically they're chocolate chips but instead of chocolate chips they're just chunks of Andy's mints so that's what I'm putting in instead of regular chocolate chips if you just substitute that out and put instead regular chocolate chips in it's going to be completely vegan um but yeah so i also didn't end up putting in the uh peppermint extract into the recipe since the mints already had the minty flavor but if you were putting in regular chocolate chips you're going to want to add the mint extract to give it the mint flavor if that makes sense unless you find vegan mint chocolate chips which i have never found so please share if you do <laughs> um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the recipe they're super yummy and yeah let's go make them all right, so the first thing that we're going to do is add in our half cup of vegan butter. Along to that, we are going to add our white sugar and then our brown sugar. Now I'm using a KitchenAid with the paddle attachment. If you don't happen to have a KitchenAid, obviously that's no big deal. You can just use a wooden spoon. It's gonna just take a little bit more arm grease <laughs> um, in order to get everything incorporated together. So I'm just blending this on a low speed and then I eventually turn it up once I have started it. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit of almond milk to kind of help the mixture come together when I'm creaming it before I add any of my dry ingredients. All right, so now we're going to be adding in our flour. You can add this in a little bit at a time if you want or just all at once. And then we are going to blend this again on a low speed so all the flour doesn't just like explode at once out of the bowl um, until we can speed up the mixture and have it more incorporated. And then at this point, we're going to be adding in our cocoa powder and just continuing to blend that on a pretty high speed. Next, we're going to add in a little bit more almond milk at this stage just to have it help come together. You can actually add all the almond milk in at one time. I just chose to add it in at separate times. Um, and then I'm going to scrape down the bowl to make sure everything's mis mixing evenly and then continue to mix the mixture until it all comes together. And then at this point, we're gonna finally add in our baking powder. You can add this in when you add the flour. Honestly, I just forgot to add it in then, so I'm adding it in now. Um, but go ahead and add that with your dry ingredients. And then this is what your batter should look like at the end. It's gonna be a really thick dough. So then you can go ahead and scrape all of that delicious dough off of the paddle attachment. And then we are going to stir in our Andy's mints, or like I said, if you want to keep this vegan, which I normally would do, just add in your vegan chocolate chips. And we add these at the end so the mixer doesn't like break them up into pieces so they can be more whole once we mix them in with our um, spoon or whatever, whatever spatula you're using. for a little bit we're just doing this so the butter has time to kind of like harden back together and when we bake them they're gonna be a little bit more uniform and spread you can skip the chilling step if you want but I would recommend it the next I'm just gonna take the spoon and taking about like it's just like a spoonful I don't know it's probably around a fourth of a cup maybe a little bit less um, and rolling this into a ball these are gonna spread on their own so don't worry about pushing them out or anything they'll just spread um, and go ahead and form all of the balls I made 12 cookies out of this um, but if you make a little bit smaller ones you might be able to get 18 if you make bigger ones maybe you'll just get 10 um, but yeah so then we're gonna throw them in the oven for 12 minutes being careful not to over bake these they cook pretty fast and once they're done, you will have these awesome, chewy, crunchy, beautiful cookies. Mm -hmm. 